Hello, faithful people. I'm Orlean. I'm Gary. And we live in an RV full time. Today, we are going to start tackling some of the outside projects, getting it ready to go and making it look prettier. Let's go down that road. Okay. Obviously, this is a, a, a learning experience, and this is where it begins. Putting some heat where you hope it's going to do some good. Obviously, fingernails aren't going to work the best. Oh, hey, cool. Hey, 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 hey. Well, apply. Yeah, okay. Something's happening here. And it's sticking to me. <laughs> uh, It's just peeling off. It's not. That's kind of what you wanted to do, isn't it? Well, yeah, but I was hoping it would come off <laughs> on my fingers. All right, we're gonna take a little break now and see how this goes. You know, find something to put the pieces in, <laughs> and a way of getting it off her fingers. It's Close. supposed to. <laughs> it's melting. It is what it's doing. Yeah, learning process. Okay, now we got a plastic tool in there. Hopefully that won't melt. Well, I was hoping that it was going to be coming off more like a, a one piece, like the wallpaper did and like it showed on other YouTube videos I've seen, but um, this must just be a different kind of a decal or a different material it's coming off of. This isn't the aluminum, this is a plastic of some kind, so maybe that makes a difference. When I get to the aluminum, maybe it'll do something different and it'll come off easier. I'm trying to do it on a, a nice day. We've had quite a few rainy days and then there'd be puddles all around the, the RV so we couldn't we couldn't have uh, be operating something with an electrical cord in the water, so today is a good day. Try to get as much done as we can. At least the bad ones. I'm curious to see how it's going to come off the aluminum. Hoping it's going to be easier. <laughs> Getting it down to kind of a system here. We found that it's best to use a lower heat, which we were doing from the very beginning, and we because it tends to melt it otherwise, and that doesn't then you can't peel it off. So we're doing just a little bit at a time. And then um, we take the heat off of it, and then start to peel a little bit more, and then go back on it again. Just kind of, um, kind of waved it back and forth on there. I have been cleaning with some of stuff that's come off. The swoosh came up to about here, from here to down here, and um, was able to get that off. And then just took some Goo Gone and sprayed it on there and it wiped it off pretty good. I started on these swishes here by the, between the dinette window and the living room window. <sighs> they started out coming off really easy on this top one. And then it's been kind of going slow going since. This one is so faded, and this one was chipped in different places, and I just thought if I could get those off, that would be great. So I'm going to keep plugging away at them and hope I can get them done. Well, it's getting there. Sometimes I'm able to just take my finger and just peel it off uh, in a good stretch of it, but then it's, it gets harder. So I've been kind of working on the bottom part sometimes while I'm waiting for the top part to cool enough that I can touch it because sometimes it's better for me to peel it than, than um, use the plastic tool. And so when I have the heat off of the top one, I put the heat on the bottom one to get that kind of softened up and kind of keep going back and forth between the two. One last piece. 
Oh, jeepers. I barely made a dent on this one. But, yeah, all the way from here to the window. And it's taken me over an hour, about an hour and 15 minutes or so. Yeah. Starting with the back bumper, you may notice that the spare tire is gone. He has cardboard up here as a barrier because he's going to be using a spray paint. And he put some stuff on here and really scrubbed it down and took out sandpaper to it and everything to rough it up so that it should um, stick real well. It's a Rust-Oleum product. We've always had good luck with those. So he's just covered everything to protect the white. Took that yucky thing off. That, that's the tire cover and we ordered a new one. And here he's already started working on painting the, the spare tire bracket. We were doing this before. I don't know that we, maybe we didn't hold it on long enough or what, but this just seems to be coming off just a lot easier than the other side. Um, this is coming off a lot easier. Look at that. <laughs> Still not sure if I want to tackle the. Yes! Not sure if I want to tackle these. I'm afraid to. <laughs> I'd like to get them off, but I don't know. Um, if it's just that this is a different material and it came off easier, I'm not sure. But at least we got the really bad stuff off. If nothing else, we got the worst of them off. And now I'll just go over this with goo gone and it'll be gone. Look at the difference. This part is not done. This part needs a little bit more. This part looks really good. And I know it's a Rust-Oleum product. Can you show the can? So we know what we're getting here. Wood, metal, plastic, and more. Bonds to plastic. Ultra cover, paint and primer. We didn't get a chance to paint this when we first got it, so it hasn't been painted for, probably for a long time. We've had it now for going on two years. It'll be two years in July that we got it. And we only had a week and a half to get ready to pack up and go and head out, so we really didn't have a lot of time to do a whole lot to it. That's why we've been working on it little by little. And this last summer when we were supposed to be working on things on the inside and making all these things, doing all this kind of stuff, we ended up taking this whole back end off and repairing some old water damage. That took a little bit of time. Put a link to that up above. More projects. This one on the inside. I just cleaned out the freezer. We got to get all that ice melted off today and defrost it. And so I'm going to turn this to off. We're taking advantage of the fact that we have a, a refrigerator and freezer in the house right now in the parsonage. So we're going to take everything out, and Gary just took the freezer stuff in, and we're going to let this thaw out. It didn't take too long. I don't even think it's been an hour. Gary threw some chunks of ice outside. We had a fan blowing on it, so that helped. We cleaned everything up. Wiped everything down nice, good, washed stuff up so it's nice and clean. Should be good to go for another six months before we have to defrost it again. Depends on the weather, but 
that's roughly about every six months we have to re have to do that. Gary's using some goo gun to get the residue off from the other decals, and then I had just two little two little tails right here. Those came off real fast. They were, they were supposed to be part of the continuation of these, I guess, but they're gone. Just one more to do here. This swoosh has me very perplexed. It is stubborn and very different than the others. It doesn't peel off, it flakes off, which is totally different than the other ones. I don't know if it's because of the color or what, but I can't get a grasp on it. We tried to find plastic razor blades in three different places here in Fredericksburg. They, either they didn't have them or they were sold out. We really need that, I think, to, to do this the best. So right now I have Goo Gone on it, just kind of letting it sit there and see if that does anything for softening it up. I don't know. I heard this noise and I could not understand what it was. And I, it was coming from the garage. It looks like a little hummingbird. He's exhausted. He's been trying so hard to get out. Oh. Okay. Little guy. Oh. What are you trying to do to me? Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Down, down, down. You have freedom just inches away from you. <laughs> Gary has a little bit more oomph in his fingers and <laughs> his hands hmm. than I do. Wish we could have gotten that other tool, but this is all we could find. You can't use a metal one because a metal putty knife or anything like that because you'll scrape the white paint, so it has to be plastic. It just does not want to peel off like the other ones did. Strange. Inch by inch, in this case, eighth of an inch by eighth of an inch. <laughs> I'm making a little progress here. I'm kind of cleaning up with the goo gun as I go to make it look like I'm actually making progress. Hi. So far, this is all that's been done today is this here, and then this little section in here, and here. <laughs> that's it. It's been well over an hour. I can't videotape and um, tell you about this at the same time, so Gary's <laughs> taking over here for a minute. What I found is that if I take the goo gun and kind of spray it on there and then do the heat gun over that, that seems to be loosening it up a little better and it's coming off a little easier. After three hours, this is what we still have left to do. And we got to get ready for church. It's a Wednesday night church, and so we have we have to quit. Cannot believe how long it took to get this off. And it's gone. Gary finished up on it. <laughs> I'll just use white now. Yay! Oh, such a relief. Oh, yeah. We're going to take the, the back thing off to get the decals off and then paint it because it's really getting quite worn. And then eventually maybe put our, our logo on there, but for now, at least clean it up.
just hold the... This? Uh, the okay. Just push it up a little bit. Oh, gosh. I'm pinch my finger. Can you push it up a little more? Uh. Okay. thought it would be a lot easier to have it flat and work on it than, and in the shade. <laughs> than to be trying to do it up there. A lot of people take them off on their back windows. They don't even have anything protecting them. But it does act as a insulation in colder weather. And it does also help with making things darker at night. So that's why we keep it on. Okay, well, <laughs> this is interesting. We bought a plastic scraper. We finally found some. And we were able to scrape off some here but the heat gun, I think on this, this fiberglass, um, is just not, it's not working. So, I told Gary, I said, you got a wire brush or something? That might work. Well, he had some kind of rough, it's pretty coarse, isn't it? Yeah. Sandpaper. And that's taking it off a lot easier, a lot faster. So this is different. This is still a decal because you can feel the ridge, but it's very different than the other decals. And this one, I, you can't feel anything on this one. So that might not even be a decal at all. I don't know. But anyway, we found a way to get it off. Making progress. This has not taken very long at all. Unfortunately, we could not do this on the aluminum. If we could have, that would have been awesome because this is going quite, quite fast. Almost wiped out the eagle and the stripes. Great satisfaction. I think they were letter. And it's gone. Well, that didn't take long. Between the two of us, maybe half an hour. Not bad compared to yesterday's on that decal. Whoa. Awesome. Now, clean it and then get it ready for painting. This is the other side, the inside, and Gary said he thinks that the outside looked like this at one time. Look how shiny and so much different. Definitely going to paint it. The bad side. Got it all taped off, painter's tape, so should be good for painting the white. This is the front of the RV underneath our bedroom. And Gary's been prepping this by sanding it down so that can be painted like the back bumper. And we're gonna paint the tongue. Have a painted tongue. So it makes it very hard to talk when you have a painted tongue. <laughs> Well, looks a lot better than it did. Kind of wishing that we had sanded the whole thing down. It's too late for that now. But it, uh, yeah, you can tell where we sanded here. Maybe it's a little smoother. So if I were to do it again, I'd probably sand the whole thing down and then do it. Ah, oh well. Gary put a first coat of the black on the front here, that's looking a lot better already. 
We know so little about the history of this RV. We don't know anything about the people that had, had it before us or if they were the original owners or not. But Gary just noticed this, that whoever they were, this was inspected in Texas. And we never saw it before this. Ah! What are you doing now? What's that? Grease. Grease for what? It doesn't hold paint. Oh, so you don't have to tape it off. You can just... Huh. Interesting. You don't want to just tape it off? No. Okay. You're the painter for that. I don't know how you know all these tricks. We've been married for over 30 years, and I don't remember ever hearing this one. Putting grease out over something to keep it from having paint stick. <laughs> it's a guy thing. It's a guy thing. <laughs> okay, we'll see if it works. gonna look like a new RV by the time we're done instead of a 20 year old one wish I could have gotten that swoosh off that one that's cracked up there let's see how much time we've gotten if the weather holds out this is the top of the hill of where Gary and I have been walking periodically, real close to where the parsonage is, way, way, way off in the distance there. <laughs> you can see the uh, Texas colors and American flag colors. The city there in the background, that's Fredericksburg. We're just a couple miles away from the town itself. If you can see that, I'll zoom in. There you go. Yeah, that's Fredericksburg. When we first got here, we went on Cross Mountain. That's right there. I don't know if you can see the cross. Barely, I guess. So I'm going to zoom in a little more. Can barely see it. <laughs> this one has two dogs that always bark at us. Oh, they're coming to meet us. I've never done that before. Mm. Be nice! <laughs> Little schnauzer. <laughs> See, listen to your friend. Your friend's saying, come back, come back. <laughs> You're not supposed to be up there. You tell him. Yep. See, he's telling you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. You have oh. to go back home. No. <laughs> come here. Come here. You have to go back home, baby. You're going to get in trouble. You got to go back home. See? Gotta go back home. No, not on Gary. <laughs> no. <laughs> Come here. Come go home. Go home. Go. Go home. Go home. No, not me. <laughs> Silly. Aw. <laughs> okay, you guys stay here. No, you guys stay here. You guys stay here. You guys stay there. No, stay. Stay. No, no, go home, go home. Oh dear, don't follow us. You think so? He's right on my heels. Now he's on your heels. No, baby, go home, go home. Yeah, right. Look at that face. Look at that face. You're so cute. Yes, you are. <laughs> but you have to go home. Stay. 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 Oh, look. <laughs> yeah, you're really cute. But you have to stay here. <laughs> 
little stinker just kept following us and we got to thinking maybe she wasn't even supposed to be where we thought she was. Maybe she doesn't live there. Maybe she lives at, lives at one of these, lives at one of the other houses instead. But she is in fast pursuit on my heels. I can hear her coming. Little stinker. Oh, now she's going to catch up to Gary. Ignoring her did not work. <laughs> now she's going in there. Seems like she knows where she's going here. Maybe that's her home. Okay. Uh-oh. She's still following us. She's not giving up. I checked her tag, but she's all it is is a veterinarian rabies tag. There's no other information on her, so she's probably got a chip or something. Otherwise, uh... We have no other way, no way of knowing for sure where she lives or where she's supposed to be. Stay here. Stay here. Stay. Stay. Well, that had a happy ending. The dog's name is Pepper. And there was a car going past us and we were kind of hanging onto her collar to keep her from running. And the car stopped. She, I said, do you happen to know who this dog belongs to? And she said... She said, I certainly do, and it was, it was their dog. So, Pepper is on her way home. I was so afraid because a lot of traffic on this road, and they, some of them come pretty fast, and thought for sure she was gonna get hit, so. Yay, happy ending.